We have um, a beautiful little outfit called Shall We Dance? And that will be in your kit as well. For this, we're going to do a little coronet with um, the little buds and bows um, ribbon. And in your kit, you will have a piece of milliner's wire, milliner's wire, which is going to be a little longer. And I th what you can do is cut it to about two inches, and that's all we need. Okay, um, we're going to shape this. It might have some of this stuff coming off, but we'll take care of that in a minute. So what we found is works really well for shaping this is this glue stick. And so we'll just kind of but anything that bend they have it. Oh, the anything, house. right? I'm just like this is the shape and size um, that worked well for us. Could be a thread um, um, spool. Mm -hmm. It could be whatever, mm -hmm. just to kind of help get the roundness. Okay. And so that's about all I could do. You can see it's really wide, so we're just going to keep pressing a little bit more. And you just have to do it. You just have to kind of work with it. Yeah. So I don't want it pointy. If you have little, um, what do you call them? Pliers. Pliers, yeah, you can use that to help. But part so of that's that pretty... Yeah, part of the gap Which, is going to be taken up by the, the flowers. The flowers. But it's nice if it's a good fit, then it'll stay on. It'll stay on. Because they tend to slide right. off. Maybe a little bit too much. Anyway, yeah. I think that's good. Is it even on both sides, the, uh, the wires? Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. yeah we just have to repair the, the yeah. silk that's wrapped off of that, or unwrapped. And we have this great glue called Weehaw Glue. <laughs> We are. Weeha is made only from the finest free-range Weehaws. Well, yes. And you'll, it, yes, we'll see how beautifully this works. And it's a Weehaw applicator. <laughs> yep. Which I love those little applicators. Oh, they're, they're, yeah, they're the best. You, you just know, want a little dot of something. You don't want a big blob. It's easier than, it's perfect. It's easier than, you know, getting a toothpick or anything. And if they get dried up, you just kind of use a pin and open mm -hmm. it up again. Oh, yeah. And you have a little bit of time before it sets. So if you need to adjust, it gives you that little extra time. We've got quite a bit falling off here because we cut a lot off. So we'll just trim that. I'm huh? going to trim it. Where? Let's see where it is. Let's see how we do here. It's even too much. Now we have this nice little piece of ribbon. And it should just fit. It just, it does. It just goes right around, right on the top here. So I'm going to start yeah, this side. And I 
think I'll just put it, well. You're gonna put the glue on to the. Uh, uh, well, I thought the ribbon, then I don't know, maybe this. Let's try it, we can try it both ways, see which works better. And it's probably a good idea if we let it sit for a second before we, you know, to just get a little. Okay. And just center the wire in the middle of the ribbon. Oh yeah, that's looking good. I think it works best on the wire, don't you? Mm-hmm. Works yeah, it works fine. And then just do a little bit at a time. And hold it a little bit for a few seconds. And the Weehaw glue is really, really good. So once this is set and dried overnight, it, it'll, it'll, it'll stay. It'll stay. Mm -hmm. That is exactly enough. How did that work out? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and by the I by know. the way, people, these these are vintage flowers, and when they're they are they're yeah, they're, it's gone, they're when it's they're gone, gone, it's gone. They will never be again. Yeah. Well, it's just getting harder to find things. Look at it this way. You could fold the end flowers into each other, too. That could be kind of interesting. I mean, this is a point. There's no right way right or, wrong or wrong way to no. do it. This, yeah, this is OK. okay. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of fiddling with it. There's going to be a little white area on the back. I think unless I can, well, I can get these pretty. Can kind of fold them in. Can kind of fold them in, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay. just to add color. It's, right. Until it look a little floral. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't want to fold all of them in, I don't think. No, you want a little bit. This is kind of, yeah, pretty to have them. Um, here she is. Let me look at her. I think that's very beautiful. I wouldn't do a thing to it. I think it looks great. Okay. That might be a little bit crooked, but I think yeah. And I, it's just it's fiddly stuff. Yeah, and there like is, a lot of there is the, the white. There is white trim in the mm -hmm. the costume, mm -hmm. so that works. I think that looks mm -hmm. great. That was easy. <laughs> Nine minutes and forty seconds. Wow, that's a that's a <laughs> that's a record. That's a record yeah, for that us. That's a record. All right, we'll be back with the okay. next item. We have our next hat with this cute little costume called Union Blue, and it's got a little crisscross like the last one did, with um, this time single-edged pico. So well. Let's see, put 
that down there. And Which I think kind of simulates to me little, like little soutache. It a does. Little, a little soutache yeah. trim. It's so cute. Okay, it's perfect scale. All right, so here again, we're going to cut out a little pattern. My pen again. And these Frickson pins, can't you get these pretty much anywhere? Anywhere. Yeah. At, um, you can get them in bundles of you know, multiple. Um, okay. Well, we shouldn't say that anywhere now. Anywhere now. Now there'll be a... You know, I think it's something that quilters use. Yes. A lot. Okay, and this, again, we've got triple fabric and um, tarlatan, which gives it such nice body. And this, this is staying, uh, it stays together. It is interesting because certain fabrics will adhere and others will just will not. <laughs> okay, there we go. But I don't think, our, it's okay. It's not, so, Oh. I don't think with this one we need to I, overcast. I was going to say, this is very tightly adhered to each other. Yeah, I don't think we need edge. to overcast it because okay, we're going to yeah. put the inner edge in. It's what's going to kind of do that. Pretty, yeah, it's staying together very nicely. And it's not fraying. So, okay. And we're going to put, I'll, I'll just say this is the bottom. And. We're going to put a little pico around there so that it shows just these little little guys. Just on the top and showing, the bottom, but yeah. not the ends. No. Okay, so just so that it, where it's showing. Okay. I wonder if I'll be able to pull it out and see. Oh yeah, it's easy to get through. It's easy. That's nice. So we'll stitch this in place mm -hmm. and, and the, the stitches should blend Both. very nicely. We'll do the this this peak top and the the front and the back. The front I guess. and the back. The okay, the that's back. what we can. Yeah. All right, we'll get this sewn up, and then we'll come back and show you the next step. We have trimmed the outside front and back of this hat, and now we're going to add a little bit to the inside. I mean, this could be the inside or the outside. You have to kind of choose, and um, so we're going to put this right over this. So we're just stacking it right at the edge. And we're stacking it and try to get these little circular things kind loops. of loops. <laughs> I'm a little tired. <laughs> um, I don't know in between. Why you'd be tired. In, in between. Yeah, if you um, can get it in between. You know, try. I mean, try to. They, they might want to line up, and they are not exactly even. They are not. Um, maybe they were when they started out, but by the time it's all rolled up and okay so we're going to sew it like that so when you see it I guess I'm saying this is it'll be kind of a little row little two full. little kind yeah. of rows of these little circles so we will sew that on and and we're, we're able to we're pretty much able to go right through to the other side with tiny stitches yes and they just blend right in mm -hmm. so we're going to do that and we will come this back side and this side and then we'll come back and we'll come back and show you the the next step. The next. 
we have a couple of, or we have an idea of how to trim the top of this little hat and you can do it however you like but we think this is a little fun um, we have that decide which is the front and which is the back um, or which is the inside out and inside out too um, I was thinking that was the f top but I think I think I'm gonna have this as the top and we'll just get rid of these knots. Okay. Well, those are going to disappear. They'll soon. disappear. <laughs> so they'll be gone soon. So we're going to decide that because we want the the loops to um, face front. So this one, take it from about the corner of this straight edge, and figure out about the center of the of the piece and go up to the other edge. So you're, hmm, let's see. You can go like that, and then maybe like, and then up here. Kind of make this a little pointy if we can. So I think that's cute. Yeah, I think point here is better. Where we get a little enough red showing and then I like that. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so we will sew that and then go to the next step. Okay, we'll be back. <laughs> We have another um, trim that we're going to use this little pico for. And we're going to go across, well first find the middle because we might need all of this. I think we're gonna need we're all gonna of need it. We're gonna need it, okay, mm -hmm. so. There's no more left. <laughs> There's about the middle. And, oh, excuse me. So this is the, I'm gonna say this is the front where this is going, this is the back, and we're going to have the loops facing backwards, okay. just like it's these. It's however you want. It is, it is. Mm -hmm. but this is how I want to do it. And we'll put this right there, and then we'll come back. We're going to stitch that in place. Yes. And then, and then next, then we'll, we'll, we're going to um, fold these little ends in so they're a little, a little pleat. On okay. Each, on each end. We'll get that sewn okay. and then we'll be back. And we're going to do small stitches, but we will go all the way through to the other side. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. We've done that other little um, decoration across the back here. Which and also holds the ties. Holds the ties. It's all in one piece. And now we're going to pleat the ends just one, it's just one pleat to the back. See, there's still our front. Here's the back. And just, it's just really one pleat. Just try to get that in there. And I have doubled the thread. And I'm going to put a couple of stitches through. It's not too hard. You don't need your uh, I know. I was almost pull. hoping I would because it's fun. Okay. And this changes the whole shape of the It thing. does because it didn't Yeah. It, was just it a didn't flat look roof. right before it's too flat, right? Oh. Hmm. I need to push it through. Wow, look at this. Here we go. You need it. I did need it. You need that needle puller. There we go. Do your job there. Oh my, I love it. See, so you'll get your all your hats made in this session. God, and I a know. needle puller. And a needle puller, which I didn't know existed. Well, you know, I learned a lot from Angela D. She, I guess, she's a yeah. gadget girl. She, <laughs> thank goodness. Okay, I want it. And she's gonna have to watch this video to know how to make these hats. Oh, she, she'll, she won't have any problems.
She might have more gadgets, too. Oh, I think she does. She. Angela, we're talking about you. Yeah, she'll probably hear about it. <laughs> oh, here we go. I just want to use it. Oh, great. Oh, another thing, too, in making this, um, when you cut this pico trim, it tends to ravel a little bit. So when I was sewing these short pieces on both sides, I'd put a little dot of glue here and just kind of Stops for a second. From, mm -hmm. Yeah, for a second. Mm -hmm. And that's great. A little wee haw. A little, <laughs> little wee haw. A little drop of wee haw. Okay, now find, make sure I've got the front. Oh. I could um, knot my thread. Okay. Let's fold that up like that. And <laughs> Evidently, not Annabelle, <laughs> Annabelle needs to move. Oh, yes, honey. Okay. My knees and my legs are going. Okay. When Annabelle needs to move, that's it. I think we got the wonderful shape. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's looking really good. That really makes the, a shape, doesn't it? I mean, mm -hmm. we'll put it on her head, but still, that makes. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we, we, we have to do a little bit of, mm -hmm. you know, misting it and getting the. Right. I mean, we're not done, but this, yeah. Oh, yeah, that it's, looks looks really good. Okay. Oops. Okay. Sorry, I was looking at it at the front. There's the front. If oh, yeah, that's the but front. But anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. oh, that looks really yeah, nice. Okay. Okay, we'll be back with the next we'll be step. Back next step. Now we're ready to put pretty much the last pieces on, and we're calling these little spaniel ears. They're cute. And then there's there are two, or actually two on each side, two and two, four all together, and then this. And you're getting a piece of um, this fabric. Um, let's see, let me just see how long it is, six inches about, and we're going to cut it in half lengthwise, and then we're going to fringe the side. Both sides. Well, of each one, is yep. yeah, mm -hmm. the side of each one. Okay. I might want to stand up. And it should be, we should be able to, I mean, you want to try to get it accurate, but you don't have to, you mess up a little bit, it's not going to matter. No. I mean, if you want to be very, uh, very precise, you could do um, um, the rotary, rotary cutter. cutter on a board. Um, but it's not necessary. It's such a tiny I mean, if you piece. have that out, great, but mm -hmm. not. Take a pin. And we're doing such a, a small piece that we have our little fringing devices, but this is um, so small That's that so a pin tiny. is the way to do it. And I, 
I'm not as familiar with fringing this fabric, but I think it still doesn't really work to, to take, try to take the whole yeah, you piece have, off because you, it just gets stuck. Yeah, you have to do a little at a time. And this is going to take a while, so we will, we will, <laughs> I will help Denise, oh, and we will be piece. back, <laughs> we will be back to show you, okay. we'll, we'll be it back in good. an hour or so. It sounds good. All right. <laughs> now we're ready for our spaniel ears. So we had that six inch piece of fabric, cut it in half lengthwise, and now we have some pieces. So let's measure so they know. We're fringing both edges of, <laughs> so it didn't, it's not exact. So and let's we don't see. have to, we, we don't, don't have yeah. to worry about it. They're about three inches. Okay. Just to let you know. And I have, a, I, we actually have a couple more pieces here. And, okay, we're gonna attach them here. And then we're gonna have one that's at the cross here. But, so take, Take the little piece, the three inch piece, fold it in half, and then fold it again. I think it's kind of cute to not all, do it all the way, just about to there. And then we're going to attach it right here. And, and then we'll, of, and then we'll, once it's attached, then we're going to so, uh, uh, clip that and fold. Then this little fold here, we're going to clip. Okay. Actually, I could do it a little bit more, I guess. Well, you do it as you like. Yeah. Okay. a couple of stitches there you go and I'll just tie it off back here well we'll do the other one and then we'll we'll come back and, and do the final fitting here let me cut let me cut that one loop oh okay and then um, I can see that So we have that little loop that we put over. Let's just cut it there. And that's us. And then we'll fluff <laughs> so it out. A yeah. Little fluffy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. We'll get the rest done and we'll be back. We've done the hat. It's all done. We have the little spaniel ears on each side. There's a little crossover of the Pico trim, just like um, the other hat we did. And I have pinned it in place to kind of hold it. And I'm going to spritz it and try to mold it to her head again like we did before. And then we'll trim. Okay. And then we, we're, we're holding it down with the, the pin to kind of keep it where we want it. <laughs> kind of. If, she, if she'll if, cooperate. If she'll not. Very cute. And now we've got a little excess mm -hmm. um, uh, on the, the oh, yeah. uh, streamers. So you're going to trim them to where it's your hat to, wh to where, where you where, where you I like it them. to be. One's a little longer than the other. I'll just keep shortening them up and up and up. And up. Okay, there. are. So again, I took about a quarter, uh, an inch and a quarter off. All right, I think that looks really good. Are you happy with I it? I am happy. Okay, 
and we're going to let it dry. Let it dry, and mm -hmm. uh, then it can go in your trunk. Wow! All right, Denise, Fantastic. you did. You did today. <laughs> three hats. Only. Three. And oh, and the one coronet. coronet. So uh, good. Good on you. Not bad. All right, we'll be back tomorrow. Bye bye. bye. This next chapeau we're going to make is a bonnet. And before, previously, we had been making hats. So the difference, <clears throat> excuse me, between them is that a hat doesn't cover the ears, but a bonnet does. And right here we have our little at the fair costume with her little bonnet. You can turn it around. And we're doing, Denise, we're doing a black hat first thing in the morning. I know. So that our, Ooh, our, our, eyes. our eyes can <laughs> see better. Which is helpful here. And it, it's, it's not maybe the constructed bonnet that you might see on the Hure or something. Because we have so to simplify. Tiny. Yes, we have to simplify, simplify it. it. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very effective. Because her head's a little bit bigger than a thimble, but not much. <laughs> Okay, so we've opened the kit already. Um, it'll come in a nice little plasticine bag. And we have some pieces here for trimming. And then this um, really kind of, I don't know, it's, it's a silk. It's almost like a file. File. Mm -hmm. um, kind Slightly. Kind of a medium weight or mm -hmm. medium to heavy. Um, and, and again, what we're going to do is, and I already started, is to um, overcast around the whole thing. And being a black fabric again, you know, it's not sticking. It's not slipping, but it's not sticking. Yeah, for some reason, black just will yeah. not stick. Yeah. So we, we, we do have to overcast. And it gives, it just, and it does give it a little bit of form here. And it does. A little bit of structure. Mm -hmm. so, it's really a necessary thing to do. So shall we finish overcasting yes. it and we'll come back with the, the next step? I'm going to do that. Yep. Then we'll come back. Okay. Our next step now is to bind the edges of our hat. The the front, wait, the front and the back. I have it. The red, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, and we're going to bind it with this silk tape. Um, but it, it's easier to. We're going to fold it across like this, and I think it's easier to just um, press it first, and then it you have the crease there, and you're all set. So, oh, we have to warm up our little guy. Let's little see. cricket. Our little cricket, but I think he's got enough heat here. Go this way. <laughs> here he's ready. It's, um, you know, and I, I guess, you do it too, but in um, ironing or pressing a um, silk ribbon or something, if it's a kind of bring it out like that. Oh yeah, I do yeah. that. And it works for me. Actually, nice. if you're doing <laughs> if you're doing a long piece and you just mm -hmm. fold it, you know, about mm, three or four inches, and just pull it, it'll I'm pull automatically it. fold. I think this is, for this particular bonnet, this is the hardest. This is the hardest part. The hardest part, okay. Well, we'll do okay. I, I haven't cut this, I've just left it. I'll cut it when I'm through, probably. Um, I'll just, just tuck it in there. I have a little bit of fray here, so I've left it over just a little bit. And we're just gonna catch both sides, both. I think what often happens is that one side might be a tiny bit shorter than the other, which is fine, because then you're gonna catch the back part more easily. I don't know. So, here we go. There's my needle. And it's black on black, so it's not easy to see. No, I mean. Necessarily. I mean, we should be doing this for the class with um, white thread white so thread. they can see it, but right. you don't want white thread on your, your chapeau, do you? Well, not really. <laughs> <laughs> or your yeah, bonnet. just sharpie it all. That's, yeah. I well, mean. No, you want it to be pretty. 
And I'm glad you're, you're sewing one piece before you cut it because that, that mm -hmm. makes more, or, you know, to, for the other side it makes. Yeah. It's going to get you more. Um, I just have the little fringe off the side, not nothing else. So, yeah. Um, and, you know, check, make sure. See, I think this is closer to the edge than this side, but that's, that's fine. One side's the top and one okay. side's the bottom. It's a little bit, I mean, it's not tough to go through at all, but um, I, I really only taking one stitch at a time. It, yeah. I think a lot of people have good lights at home. You know, their little art lights and such. But even with a art light, when you're doing black on black, it, yeah. it can be, I think the best, best thing to do is what we're doing, which is we're doing, we're doing this top of the morning. <laughs> I do have those magnifying things, but last time I used them, I fogged them up. Because <laughs> I don't use, I'm not used to using them, so if I need it, I could, I could put it on. I think this is our only left to do black on black, and then okay. the rest is going to, things we'll do are going to be colored. So we'll get this sewn up, and we will come back and show them okay. the next step. The next step, okay. Our next step is putting on a little bit of lace along the top of the hat, of the bonnet. And we're going to put one end over here, tack it down. This we're going to try to make a little point. You know, fold it over just a tad. Two or three or four stitches. Mm -hmm. To tack that down and then tack it down here. So this is left um, a little loose, so it's not all sewn down. I think that's pretty. So we'll do that and then show you. Okay, well, we'll get that done okay. and we'll be back. After we finished this part and I've tacked on this side, folded it over a little bit here, tacked it down, and then tacked it here. So it's not sewn all the way around. And when we turn it like this, it lays perfectly flat, but there's some give to it, I think. Now on the back side, we want a little ruffle of lace. So you have about four inches left, but whatever you have whatever is it what is. you use. What? Mm -hmm. So I've already put a running stitch through this header, and I started by folding over a bit, running it through, and then it's folded over on the side. Let's get this. So you're and just gonna pull, pull, it pull it into itself? itself. And we're going to attach it here. Oh, my hand's in the way. And just by pulling it, it gives us the it shape gives it we a want. Shape, a nice little. It's almost like a little jabot like kind that. of thing. Shape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to sew it right on here or underneath. Let me see. I think it's on top. It's on top. Mm. It's actually under. Is it under? It's under okay. Under here, so yeah. Well, then we got to do it the way I did under. it. Okay, so we're going to so we'll sew it under. <laughs> under here. All right, we'll sew that okay. under and we'll show you come back and show you the next next, next step. step. Okay. So finish off this bonnet is actually pretty easy. Um, let me just show you first this little um, lace part that we gathered and I sewed it kind of close to the edge here um, not up along here so it won't the majority of it will stick out here it was very pretty um, then you're going to have a big piece of ribbon and we're going to need three rosettes so we showed you how to do the rosettes before earlier and you need to cut two and a half inches for each one and then two and a half inches for this little which is going to be a little tail from one of these rosettes 
the rest of the ribbon, fold in half and cut, and it's about five inches each. So I'm going to put, well, I think I put it under or over. There's going to be rosette on top. Mm -hmm. I'd put it, I'd yeah, put it, over. Yeah. And here, and then the rosette goes on top of here. One goes here, and this little tail. We've got a little spot here. We're going to put this right like that. And then, oops, it's touched. This little rosette is going to go here. And that's going to finish the bonnet. All right. Now, so would you, would you spritz this as well? Well, or not? Uh, why don't why don't I absolutely do shape it a little bit? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. why don't we sew those uh, right. pieces on, and then we'll come back and we'll we'll fit, and it, to fit her, it to her, and we'll we'll hope it works. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That sounds good. We'll be back. We finished our first bonnet, and we spritzed it like we did the other hats and formed it to her head. And so now you can see the, the result. It's so cute. And it's a little, it's a little taller the, than the prototype. So this is, this is what it should look like when, they're, when they are done with okay. it. And of course you can tie it. And, and that could be trimmed a little bit yeah. too if they, if they like. I think it, you did I a great it, job. Well, Are you happy with design. that? Yes, I am happy. Okay, good. <laughs> we'll be moving on to the next bonnet. All right, we'll be back. We're on to our second bonnet. And this one is called Pink Promenade. It goes with this lovely pink ensemble with the little capelet. We have some beautiful fabric here, and it's it's a little heavier. What is it? Is it's it a wool. A wool? Mm -hmm. It's just yeah. Okay. It's a wool, and it and it and it is not going to stick. It does not stick to this at all. So we really have to overcast. Yeah, we'll have to overcast it, and then we're going to take some of the lace trim, trim it here and up here, and then we'll go step by step. All right. So are you going to pin that well, out I'm, with with your Frixon pen? I'm, I'm going to do the pen, and I think I'll do what you did. In the other one and put these in the corner just to hold it. I don't lose it. Okay, and then I'm going to use the pen to outline. All right, so we will, we're going to cut it out and then we're going to overcast it, which we've basically the same concept. Same concept. Yeah, okay. except we're going to use white threads because they will blend in with the lace trim that we're going to edge it with. So we will get this marked and cut it out and overcast it and we will be back to okay. show you the next step. Our next step will be applying a lace trim to the front of the bonnet and also the back of the bonnet. When we sew, well, had it backwards. When we sew this, we want the um, lacy part for the part to, to be uh, towards the the back of the, the head. Back. Yes. And we're going to try to make this one really half and half so and so that we get a good little bit on the back and we're going to sew sort of up close up to here. And then the back one we're going to do kind of where we see a little bit more of this part of the lace and see there's a smaller fold fold in the back and then we'll then we'll sew along here and this the 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 uh, overcasting stitches should just blend into the lace i don't oh, think they, they will. will yeah they, they will. will they're not be... i mean it's yeah they will no you don't need to have a, a, the same color for everything you do i think what did they have back 18th or 19th century black, white, and maybe tan or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. so we, we will, we will uh, sew this up, and then we will be back and show you the, the results. Okay. Okay, now we've um, 
put the lace or trim around the front and the back and you can see I'll turn it over um, there's sort of half and half here and then just you know an eighth of an inch or so on this side so it gives a little bit more lace on that on that mm -hmm. side and I guess we can do this next how much do we want to use of this? Um, well, I think if we've got we've got a little more than we a little more maybe so five inches. I think we had five inches maybe for the last one. So we have about eight and a half nine, and I think we'll we'll cut it here and do the same little roughly thing back here that we did for the last bonnet. All right, mm -hmm. and then so they actually have a they've got a little bit lace mm -hmm. left over if they want to. Yes, you can uh, do something sure. with it. Mm -hmm. Sure. I mean, you can make little rosettes with the lace, too, if you want or something. Yeah. Um, and again, I'm going to um, turn a little edge under, just a little bit, and stitch along here, running stitch, and then turn it, when I get to this side, turn it a little bit, too, and then pull it tight. And then apply, and then apply we'll it right apply back it. there. And we're applying it pretty close, you know, not up here. But you know, pretty close to the back. Okay. To the edge. All right, we'll do that and we'll come back and show you what we've All right. accomplished. We're going to put on some beads around the front of the bonnet, which is gonna look like little dangly things almost. And there's a pretty easy way of putting them on. And what I've done is just um, overcast these stitches and, and then picked up. I'm trying to go somewhat easily. We have 25, so I think we've got absolutely plenty. Um, so maybe, you know, 16th of an inch apart. And then just keep. It gives it a nice texture, I think. Casting. There we go. Kind of like that, and every few, I don't know, three or four, whatever you want, um, then just kind of anchor it down. Yeah, tie it off because yeah. if otherwise, if it gets mm. comes undone, they all go. They're off. all gonna go. Yeah. All right, I don't know to make a big deal, but okay, there we go. So this actually is kind of fun. It's fun. I think it's fun. I mean, all of this is kind of fiddly, but that's fun, too. Mm -hmm. do that. And beads are beads. We've got to kind of fuss with them a little bit. Yeah, because they're not all exactly the same size. No. And you want them semi-loose, not too tight. So we'll get this all, all done, and and so far we haven't lost any. So that's I know, encouraging. On the floor. That's encouraging. <laughs> and the back, by the way, looks. I don't think we talked about that, but it looks. Oh, yeah. It looks very nice. Okay. So it's the same concept. It's the same concept as the other one. Mm -hmm. And sewing it right. And. You know, when you do this, you gather it up, and it's gathered from about here to here or so. And I opened it up like, like a fan, so it's all sewn down all the way across. You, yeah, it works if great. If that makes sense, it's, this is the gathered part, and then just bring up um, each end um, so that it, it's... It's all sewn on. Yeah, well, it turned out very nice. And I think, you know, you can kind of touch it with the, just a little bit back here. With, with your the iron. iron. You don't want it flat, but. No. You know, just and we did, not, uh, we did not have that on the original mm -hmm. uh, SAMP, but we had plenty of lace in the kit, yeah. so why not? We have the last little bits to do on our bonnet. And in your kit, you're going to have this, I guess, I think it's quarter inch silk ribbon and you cut it into four four inch pieces and make the little rosette so you're making four little rosettes like we've done before mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then this looks like half inch 
and you're gonna just whatever you have you're gonna fold it in half cut it you have two pieces and then on one end um, it's a little little gather right here so that you know the rosette isn't sitting on a yeah, it has something. That end, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it and has something to stitch into. We had a couple of beads left over, so we put them in the center of the rosettes. If you don't have beads left over, you don't have to do that, or whatever you like to do. So this one is going to, see, we have two little ends, two kind of squared off ends here. Oh, we didn't really talk about, we talked about doing this, but we also put some beads down here because we did have... A few extra. Because we like to embellish. We to, right. Yeah, and it's <laughs> supposed to be fun. Yes. So this one is here. This one is here. And if it seems like these half inch ties are way out of scale, they're not because there were specific, very um, uh, wide ribbons that would either hang down or be tied on a bonnet. Big ones. Big ones. So this is our scale for that. So, and then we had some ribbon left over. Lace. Why do I always say this is ribbon? <laughs> this is lace. This is, uh, that's why I have a this job still lace. here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we put that up here. With the two little rosettes that we made. Put those close together, so it's very pretty. And you'll get a little flower. Now these flowers are kind of, you know, open, open. wide, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. And you can use it like that, however you like. But what we did is put a little bit of the wee haw glue in the center, and then kind of went like this. And made yeah, a to make a little bud, a bud. Bud. Mm -hmm. but whatever you like to do. And let's see, a little pin. But instead of, you know, you sometimes you cut these things short, sometimes you hide them inside things. But what is kind of fun with these to do, let me do it this way, um, is to wrap the little stem around something like a pin, like I'm doing. Okay, now this last little bit. Just pull the pin out. Excuse me. That. And we have a nice little interesting curly cute. Yeah. <laughs> and then we don't have to cut it or no, it will try. Kind of, it yeah. looks pretty there. Yeah. And, and then, then we'll arrange it once arrange we arrange it and we'll show you when we've finished it. It looks like a birthday cake. Ooh, it does, so when it? when we're done, we're 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 gonna sew all this together and we'll come back and show it to you fit it. We're all through, and what I did was mist the bonnet like we've done the other hats and bonnets. And um, we decided to, because this is wool and it's thick, it's thick and it kind of tends to kind of wing out, and you know, we want it to dry. Um, we just tack this string and thread around, and um, we're just going to let it set. Yeah, and, and I think we're going to let this set overnight, mm -hmm. yes. and, and then it's going to hold this beautiful shape. Isn't it cute, though? And we're calling it a Mary Stewart. It's called a Mary Stewart bonnet because of the, of shape. the shape up here. Mm -hmm. So are you happy with this one? I think it's I very am. pretty. I think it's very cute. I think yours is better than mine. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so we're. Cute. Uh, uh, we're on to the next. We're on to the next. We'll have item. To figure that one out. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we'll be back with the next installment of Forever, Forever. Chapeaus. Okay. Our next hat in the lineup we've decided will be the hat that goes to this beautiful green dress called Emerald Isle. And we have this beautiful plaid piece. And this is pretty symmetrical. We're going to decide as we go which is front and which is back. And it depends on how you want to do it, but you can line this up so that you've got this nice little squares in the center. You can do it on a diagonal, however you like. I think we're going to just do it this way. 
There we go. And again, I'm going to trace around it with a pen, cut it out, and then we'll go to the next step, which is going to be um, a lace trim. And this, this hat can also go with the Christmas, Christmas dress. dress. So if they want to take it True. from making it a, 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 an evening, they can make it a day dress by just changing the hat. Absolutely. All right, so we're, we'll, okay. we'll trace this out and overcast it and we'll be back. All right. We have our little hat cut out and overcast on the edges. And we have some lace. It's not ribbon. It's lace, isn't it? It's right called lace, inside. yeah. And um, this little tiny pico trim that we're going to use. So the lace is going to go, I'll see this is the top, I'm saying. Then the lace is going to go like this with the um, nice side towards the top and towards the middle. And just a little bit of this on the bottom. Um, what so it folds around really beautiful beautifully around this um, form but what we want to do is sew the back first and I'll show you that in a second and then do a little drawstring here so it really pulls it in nicely it's not going to gather a bunch but just to pull it in towards the top here um, so what we're going to do this is my bottom and also it's kind of nice. See, we have little sort of corners. If we put, see these little dots that are in each of the, the lace parts? Let's see if we can do that. Put a little dot at the corner and a little dot at this corner. So it just see. works out that yeah, way. Just, we didn't does. plan that. It's kind of funny. And so I'll start. You can start wherever you want to. And I'm going to sew it just running stitch right through here. So it's very close to the edge. So we don't have a lot back here. We have about this much. And then, but before we do that little drawstring, we have this, that it, this trim goes around the inside of that, of the hat. So that's, so. that's on her face and around her. Mm -hmm. her. Yeah. So before we do this, fold this over and do the drawstring. See, we've got it all sewn around like that. And then we'll put this on and sew around it. And that way we're not interfering with... So if we do this first, then we've got to worry about the lace, uh, the thread showing through the lace or the, you know, picking it up. Um, so I think that's going to be the easier way. Well, we'll, show, we'll, we'll sew the lace oh, on yeah. and then we'll, oh, yeah. then we'll show them the, the green trim. Oh, yeah. Because we have the technology to do it. We, we just, I mean, we're amazing. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll be back. We've uh, attached the, um, the lace, as we were talking about before, a minute ago, and then put the green Pico trim on the inside. And I was able to use green thread on the Pico because I hadn't put this down, this part down yet. So you've got room to work around there. And then I took a, the, I did a running stitch around here, around the top, and it's kind of laying flat. Now we want to shape this, we don't want it to be a circle. And I've decided this will be the back. And so what we're gonna do is put a drawstring, not draw, but we're gonna go with kind of a basic, yeah, bigger running stitch through here together. Right. So let's see, I have double, my thread is doubled. And I'll just come in maybe near the, well, kind of halfway through the, the here. Let's see. It's not too many stitches, just a few. Let me see. I'm going to come down there. So I might have put four in. I'm going to pull this. So we pull this 
this back part in and you can see how it's starting up I'll, I'll tie it off of course but you'll see how it's shaping the hat like this so, I get a minute yeah. yeah like the top of her so, head right and I think the rest of it we can shape it when we do the final when we spritz and everything yeah yeah that looks really good Denise good okay well okay. we'll we'll go on to the next thing okay we'll be right back So this is what we have left on this cute little hat. Um, we've got a little two inch piece of lace here that we've gathered up. And actually the, the ends of, here I'll show you on this one, the ends are mitered, <clears throat> excuse me, like this and like, and like that. So it, that, just, it just takes a little of the bulk out. Yeah. And then you're gonna do a running stitch through there and gather it. And it's just two inches. Just a little fluffy piece on top. These, both the lace and the Pico trim, are about three and three quarters inches each, I guess, because we've tucked the ends in just a little bit. But it's what you have left also, so we're giving And they should have plenty. But it's, yes, use what you have. They Maybe they were four inches at the time. And so we've sewn this green pico onto the rib onto the lace with green thread and you can't if you sew I mean if you're careful sewing the green thread is right behind here and it doesn't show up on the lace no on the not at all. at all and then tuck the either end in and then we're going to put them a little not on the sides but a little towards the back maybe maybe you're doing say you find your center back a quarter inch either way and kind of you know you can fold it in like this to make it neater and then sew it from the bottom and you can sew with well, you can sew with white thread I think okay so that's the little uh, ties now we have this little piece that we've done we talked about and that's just going to go a little zhuzhi piece right here in the back and then we have these little we have we had these little flowers in the inside and you see we, you can do something like this and arrange them in a cute little way I think what we're going to do is cut them maybe about this long sew them on and then do a little couple little dabs of we had to make sure they stay yeah once we've got them arranged the way we want right and the other thing I will point out is mm -hmm. the loops on the mm -hmm. pico and uh, it's I think it looks prettiest with the, them going in the same direction as the the scalloping in the lace okay right instead of turning this this way yeah yeah <laughs> okay. all right so we're going to sew this up and then we're going to uh, come back and show you the final fitting right. We're at the very end of this hat. We put on the little, um, what are we going to call these? They're, it's not really, to, you could tie it if you wanted to. They're not really lappets, they're just streamers. Uh, streamers in the front. Okay. And, and then we put this little, remember this little two inch gathered piece of lace back here. And I sewed, I cut almost all but a quarter, about a quarter of an inch of the stem off of this one. And then I left the stem on this one because I think it's kind of cute here. Okay, and then we can use a little bit of, yeehaw, let me just get that out here. Okay, and just make sure that it stays good, a little drop of it. Yeah, just so we don't have just to couple. over. And it's just gonna stay there, right? So it won't slip out of the um, arrangement. The, yeah, out of the thread. And just put that down there like that, and put it like that. Um, you could, if you decide to keep these stems, you could glue that down too. I think I'm going to leave it for now. Yeah, I like it that it's and kind of it's movable. Kind of, yeah, it kind of sticks up. And then the next thing to do is mist it and form it to our Lady Lavinia here. Oh yeah, I do get one. You should get that pretty. Okay, 
So I've got a little bit of, sorry, a little bit of tape on her here. Let me see her from the front. Okay, oh, how cute. She is cute. All right. Oh, right. what I'm going to do is pin these streamers. Hmm, let's see. Down here. Kind of form it. This might have to be glued down. I don't know. Well, this is the final fitting, so. <laughs> so there, and then leave her, leave her be overnight. That one little, yeah, that one. This has to go down. Mm -hmm. I think because it got spritzed, it kind of went. I'm going to put a little drop right here. And a pin. And I'm going to put that down. It might take a second, but it'll it'll dry and it'll dry clear. I think that's adorable. That Are you happy with She's that? So cute, I am. Okay, all right. Well, we'll be back later we'll be with back with more. With more. Mm -hmm. Our next little uh, chapeau or little headdress is going to be this little coronet for the Christmas dress. I think she looks very festive in the red and green. And uh, we're going to do her little bouquet as well. In your kit, you're going to have lace, ribbon, flowers, and then this little piece of millinery wire, which is already pretty much rounded for us. Um, and it's about an inch in diameter. Um, it looks big right now, but when we get everything on, it'll it'll lay it'll on our head. It'll get smaller. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to put lace on. Oh, f well, let's cut off. What do, did we say this is a two-inch yes. piece of lace? Because we're going to use this with the bouquet. So we want to set that aside. And then the rest we can use. What we want to do, since we have this little overlap here and it gets a little bit um, bulky, um, and I did use a little wee haw to um, attach some of those little things that <laughs> seem to come off. We want to put a little piece like this and glue it just to kind of anchor it and cover this up. We also want to gather this length of lace. So I'm going to start leaving this. Maybe it's an inch, maybe not even. Let's see. We can measure. So that they know. It's about... It's about an inch. Well, it's about maybe three quarters. Um, okay. Just to give you an idea. Well, whatever their joint is. Yeah. They can, yeah. you know, wherever they've got it yeah. messy. So I'm going to start gathering this up from that little end, and then we will put whip it on, and then we'll go from there. We'll do All that right, and we'll, then show you how it looks. And we're going to do little, it little small gathering yes. stitches, huh? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So we're, we'll gather that up, and we'll be back and show you the next step. We've put the, um, the lace around the millinery wire. And just as I said um, that I would do, I left a little piece for this end part. Um, gathered in little stitches around the header of the lace and then I pulled it and then I just worked it to see if you know make it kind of go around e evenly um, around the millinery wire around this circle and then when I had it you know pretty much to where I wanted it then I just slip stitched it on here okay okay so and we do have a back which is nice okay it's good and this later, I mean, to, we can, you know, bend it a little and, and shape it a little bit later. Um, so we have also made little rosettes, which we've shown you how to do, out of um, four inch pieces of this green ribbon. So cut one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. And, we, you know, when we do these, they're kind of uh, flat. So we like to fluff them up a bit and... Um, that, it just that stick much does it. something through here. It doesn't have to be if you don't have scissors like this. Um, I know at home I have a couple little, I don't know, they're little 
wooden rods or little dowels, and sometimes they're a good size to poke through something. Um, but it does fluff them up. And then when we, um, we get ready to kind of spritz it, then that'll help too. Okay, so we're going to sew these on and we're going to put, let's see, where was the back? We'll put one here, one up here, one here, and one here. But before we go ahead and do those, um, let's see, what, how many inches is this? Let's just make sure. Sometimes we forget. Okay, 10 inch piece of this green ribbon for the coronet. And then you will have this left over, which will be for the uh, bouquet that she yeah. holds. So first we want to Let's put these aside a little bit. First, we want to put these streamers on. And yeah, you can have one um, show a little bit longer than the other. Because we can also trim these once we get it right. on. Right. Let's see, I'm going to put it over the back end. And if you have a little tweezers or whatever you use, you can use that to put it through. Well, that was easy. And that was, oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> yes. Something's that easy, okay. Make sure it's on. And then we can start sewing, I think of green, green thread. Um, We're going to sew it right um, around this wire so I can come. And we're going to put um, four on, correct? Four on, yes. All right. So we'll sew these on and we'll come back and show you the next step. Okay. We have our next step with putting on these little rosettes. Um, we put this around the back, and I've put these rosettes on, sewn them on to, um, you know, kind of four equal points around the circle. But, you know, when she puts it on, if this is the back, we don't want all of these bows in the back. So we're going to sort of try to turn them around a little bit. And then you can see how they will show um, in the front a little bit more. And also, it, you might want to squeeze the the millinery wire, the circle, into more of a, a, a slight oval. Okay, so now you can see how these are going to twi twist around um, if we don't secure them. So we're going to put a little bit of, a little dot of glue here and there, and so that they'll stay in place. Otherwise they'll just be spinning, right. <laughs> and, and since she has no hair, that... Yeah, know, that's, yeah, that's one of the... And then we can fill and we'll fill in with with flowers um, here and there. But you know you can do it as you like, and there are plenty of flowers here. And we did take the uh, the sample. The flowers are wide open, and these we did glue some into buds. Yes. Just to create um, a little, variety. Yeah, a little interest. So you can do that as you like. But let's see how many flowers. How many flowers do we need for the bouquet? Well, if they we have, if they take the, the bouquet is, these. is is actually two bundles, which is what we've got right oh, there. Oh, we've got plenty. And right. so there's two bundles for the corn the coronet. So okay. there's plenty of So flowers. this base this is the bouquet. That is the bouquet. That really is it. Yeah. We okay. Do, we don't have to do much to All that. Right. So we do have plenty of flowers. Okay, um, so flowers. We're, gonna, okay. we're gonna glue these on and we'll come back and show you the, okay. the results. Right, now we're going to um, go a little further. I've glued these little things down, the little rosettes, and we have all these little flower buds. We did cut off the, um, the stems 
and we're just we're going to put them maybe you know some open ones some like a little maybe a little bud next to this one and you're just going to however they want to however do it. you want mm -hmm. to do it and we have to remember we have to, have to do the other side too because this little thing needs to be um needs to look good from the front end the back coming and going so um kind of place things where you think you might need them um we have a little a couple of little stamens here that'll look really cute in there and we're just going to glue them in um and we're going to use the wee hog glue which we're going to use that. Gi it gives us enough time to to Put wiggle it, room mm -hmm. but then once it dries it's 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 there it's right never, it's never coming off i'm going to flip this over because i know we haven't done anything but then see just to see the other side and we do need to fill in to, <laughs> well they're not going to stay too well yes we need to fill in some of these areas here we're doing french hand gluing. french hand gluing <laughs> We like, we like yeah. to do that. So we'll, we'll be back after okay. we do our French hand <laughs> gluing. And we're going to show you what we did with the placement of the little flowers and the little bows. And this is the inside of the cornet. It will go onto her head. And so you will see this coming up here and in the back we have this nice bow with the streamers, and then you'll see the prettiness here. Um, and then you can just, you know, with a little bit of wee -haw, you can fold flowers or tuck little ribbons in and, and just make it look the way you'd like it to make, to look. And this is something that uh, Rose Percy wears these. And, oh yeah. Yeah, and Mary Todd Lincoln wore these, and they're very exuberant. And it's nice for a little party mm -hmm. atmosphere. And then, but, but when we get it dry, yeah. then then you're ultimately going to fit it on your doll's head, correct? Yes. And I, when it's dry, we won't be disturbing all these things as much. So if you want, need to pinch it in a little bit more, you can do that. Uh, are you happy with that? I am, yes. Uh, do you think we should trim the, the uh, tails at an angle? That would be fun. Just at an angle or a little... Um, I think a little angle. Just, little, just a, an angle. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is... I think this is a good thing to go over too because I always wonder um, which way to go with each one. Do you go I think it'd go the same? Way. Do you go this, like... Whatever is, there is no right there's way. There's no right way. There's no right way and there's no wrong way. And let's see if we do it like this. It's as you like it. There's a little one. I just think it makes it more interesting than and just. And I think I'm going to do. But sometimes I like them just straight across. Like that, like that. So when this dries overnight, um, I mean, it doesn't take that long, but right. we'll be moving on to other things, so it could be overnight. Then you just, you're just going to fit it to your mm -hmm. doll's head. Mm -hmm. And of course, a little bit of tape, because the, we do have slippery little heads. Yeah. But I think with this, I, you probably won't need, won't need, it. need the tape, because okay. it's kind of forward and back, so it kind mm -hmm. of fits on it. Okay. All right, so we'll all be right. back to do the, the tussy mussy or the posy <laughs> holder, or the bouquet, the bouquet, or all of those things. What we have left now is the bouquet for this costume. And you'll have two little um, bunches of flowers. And we've, we've just, we've put them together to make a bigger bouquet. You can do anything you want to do. The <clears throat> dress, as you'll see, has a little flower up front, which you can also use, and just means pulling off one of these and then attaching. You can sew it onto here. Okay, so we've, we have this and we're leaving this long because we're thinking we might be able to use it to wrap around so that she can put it on her arm somehow here. Or you can sew it or pin it <clears throat> to her dress like this. Okay, now we have, these are four inches long yes, did you say four these inches long. so we have we've made three little rosettes four inches long from and then we have this left over 
and fold it in half and cut it. You have two pieces. You can lay them down and, and tie them, kind of cinch them in the middle. And then we've cut them to make them a little more interesting at different, different lengths. Very festive. Yeah. And so I think what we'll, <clears throat> we'll try, put a little, I'm gonna separate them a little bit here. Oops, I'm gonna straighten this out and make it easier. Put this down in here. And then what I can do is sew them in and then maybe put a little dot of weeha. Make sure that it's, can you see it closed in here? Yeah. Oh, it's her. Um, and then we've got a little, where is it? Here, we've got a little bit of lace. We can tuck in there, sew in there. Um, a couple of these around, little rosettes, and it's very festive. Very pretty. Very pretty. She's she got a ready little, for the ball little the bouquet. House. So shall we show so those? Sure, in we'll and, just and then, oh, add these. And, and Annabelle is <laughs> gonna tear the place down. <laughs> That's uh, all right. Okay, all right. We'll, we'll yes, we'll do that. And we'll be right back. Okay. We have our little ta-da moment here, and she's all finished. She has her little um, coronet and her little bouquet. We did what we said we were going to do with the ribbons. And I actually, I didn't glue anything, but you certainly could if you wanted to make sure everything stayed in place um, where you like it to be. Um, and I think she's all, all set. I think it looks great, Denise. Are you happy? I am happy. Okie dokie. I mean, you have to forgive the, 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 the tape. I mean, that's just sort of what we have to do with well, the slippery the little head. Away. Mm -hmm. but, um, well, we could, we, could, we could put a more discreet bit of tape there. This, that's true. But then we'd that's have true. to We're get gonna... up and walk to the other We're room. Just... <laughs> <laughs> we get tired. <laughs> We're getting tired. We'd be done. But I mean, you, you get the idea, I think. And, and, and of course, if you have other things, other flowers in, in your little hoard, you can do Add whatever you yeah. like. Yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, well, we'll go on to the next thing. Okay. Lavinia is going to the fair today, and you can see she's in this lovely um, blue dress with the um, black velvet trim. And all she needs is a little bouquet and a little hair ornament. And this is, oops, this is what we're going to make. She's already fallen off. Well, she's been sitting the last few days, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so okay. shall we do this? All right, so we have two, um, we have a ribbon and we have this, um, what is this, a woven sutash. kind of, oh, I can't even see. It's sutia. Oh, it is, mm -hmm. it's black, I can't see it. Okay, and we, we fringe have sutia, the edges. fringe the edges. And then we're going to have this little ribbon underneath and we're going to find the center. Let's see if I can find the center here. And they don't have to do any cutting or anything. No, come all, no. Already. I think that's pretty much. And Annabelle's having her afternoon center. nap. She's very ha content, very happy. Her sutash, look at that. That's very pretty. Okay, so we found the center of both of them. And now we're going to lay these little flowers that you've got. We pulled the greenery off because it was just getting to be too much. But before. if they want it on. They... If you want it on, yeah, absolutely. And we're going to lay these across about an inch in length. And any extra that you want to cut off, you can cut off. And we've, we've taken a little wee haw and, and closed some of these little buds up. I like doing that. Kind of get the idea. Well, there's a little opening here, and then we have these two kind of put together. 
twisted together or did they come? They sort of they, came together because yeah. they're all sort of glued together yeah. in the bundle. Yeah, and they'll get, they'll get, you know. We're, well, we're put two together, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. So you're going to have <laughs> this There's, sort of thing. And we're going to sew each one on. And also, of course, you can put dots of glue to keep them where you want them. Um, and then we, oh, no, we don't have. But again, if you have extra little, little, um, Stamen. Stamens, little other little buds. Um, you could put a little yellow in there if you want to accentuate these little centerpieces. You can do so. I think it looks cute with those. Um, but if you have any in your own stash, feel free to add them. But it's going to look basically like this. All right. So we're going to sew it on, and we will come back and show them the okay. how we did it. We have the flowers uh, sewn onto the, the um, Sutation ribbon pieces. And you can see how you can do something with these. Maybe you can curl them. I hadn't really thought of that. I don't know if these are curlable. Slightly. And to make those little yeah. tendril things. But we're oh, yeah, gonna- Yeah, of course they are right there. Like, okay, like sure right they... there. <laughs> yeah. You're right, okay. Yeah, we could if we so wanted to. So we could, but I think I'm going to cut them off. It's your, it's your. Yeah. It's your ornament. Yeah. Okay. Got one sticking out here. There we go. All right. Again, you just want to fiddle things a little bit. That goes in here. That goes there. Okay. So I don't want them to get, you know, go flying all over the place. So I'm going to put little dots of glue in between the flowers. So and you can let's really control see. them. Yeah. <laughs> Um, one there, and then that's going to go right there. Yep, and I think what, what, what you have shown us too, Michael, through, I mean, a lot of these kits, is that you don't want to put, you know, flower, like, you know, four in a row or six in a row or something. Oh, no. You want to kind of Natural. measure them up. Yeah. yeah. And all the things that we're applying to these teeny hats can be applied to bigger ones. And we probably said that before earlier. But oh, um, I think they could take these yeah. basic things and, and do it in mm -hmm. any, any scale, really. Mm -hmm. I think you can just um, enlarge the pattern and then apply the same principles that we've done. Well, shall we let this dry in a little bit and then give it a try? Okay, sounds okay. good. Oh, and then we oh. just took the, the <laughs> remainder, <laughs> remainder of the flowers and made a little, a little bouquet. And then we have one extra flower to put on the costume. I, I, we didn't, there's, there's nothing to this bouquet because it's, very simple. There's no ribbon or anything, so we don't really need to. Right. They can figure that out. You've just folded this. And yeah, just folded it over, it. and then I curled the the end. All right, we'll let this dry, and we'll come back okay. and show it to you. I think we did a pretty good job with this. How do you like it? I like it. It's very cute. And of course, everybody's she flowers needs. are going to be a little different. All right. And we put this little one do. here. No, I think it turned out yeah. very nice. It sets that off beautifully. Mm -hmm. And then this is just... Fringe. Fringy. Mm -hmm. I mean, they could put a little tiny dab of Weehaw 
on the right end up, to stop it from... Like right here, yeah. to stop mm -hmm. it from going all the way up. Yeah. But it doesn't seem mm -hmm. to go too wild. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll be back with the all next right. item. Not only the next, the last. The last, the very last. There is an end. Okay, we'll be yes. back. Our very last um, cap is a what we, we're calling a mob cap. And she's our little um, society lady volunteering in the kitchen at the sanitary fair. There was a kitchen, the Knickerbocker kitchen. And this is our little... She's the first really reenactor. So because she looks like Martha Washington in a way, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. She's got her little 18th century gown on and then just a little little cap. And this is easy to easy make. Easy to make. We've got a beautiful, let's see, piece of lace here, which is, oh, here's, oh, Got it on the wrong side, wrong end. Okay. It's about, it's an inch wide. I think it's about uh, eight inches long, and just to let use, you know. I mean, this use, is what's in your kit. You're gonna use the whole thing, no mm -hmm. cutting. Mm -hmm. And there is a right side and a wrong side to this beautiful lace. Um, if you look closely on one side, you can see, I don't know, it looks, See, there's a thread. Sometimes you can see some of the threads running across from one little area to the other. And to me, it feels a little rough. Like this is the back side of it. And this side is very smooth. So see, this is the right side. We'll put right sides together. But if they did it the opposite. It it's would, not, nobody's no. gonna see it. It's gonna be gathered up. Right. Okay, so I'm going to sew just a little, like eighth of an inch here or so, and then we're going to um, overcast. overcast it, open it up, It'll look like that, and then we have this circle. I'm going to running, put a running stitch through the header and pull it tight, and then after that we have a wire that will show you how to weave through here to just help it stay on her. Yes, because it will slide off. It's a slippery little head. Yes. Okay. All right, we will sew that up, and then we'll come back and show the final step. All right. We've gathered the center of that circle we made of the lace. And now we want to put this little, you're going to get this little wire, and we're going to weave it through the circle and then twist it off and that'll help it um, kind of form to her head and stay on. And um, you know, it's it's red, the wire is red. Don't be afraid it, it, of it showing a little bit because she has a little red ribbon around her, her waist here. I think that'll be fine. So I'm finding my, there we are. We're gonna go uh, maybe a quarter of an inch from the edge. So where you see these little, little points, little points here, and then you know here, okay. And we'll take, I'll, we'll show you little stitches. Let's see, not stitches. Well, it's kind of like <laughs> they stitches. They kind of are like stitches. Yeah, it's kind of like stitches. Okay, so you got little. It's very easy to do. Yeah, just to hold it. You're just sewing it through. Yeah. So, see how that with the stitches about like that. And um, you put a little, have a little hook at the end here so that, uh, you know, it doesn't get, pull out yeah. after, yeah. Because you know, you're gonna do all this work and. Okay. Straighten it. Hmm. There we go. I'm going to 
kind of gather a little bit. It's just a matter of holding everything. Yeah, it'll pop, it'll pop and out. And this, this wire is not <clears throat> um, as sturdy as a needle. All right, we'll finish this up, and then we'll come back and show the uh, show her modeling it. Okay. We have our little mob cap all set up. Isn't it the cutest thing in the world? I have the metal, so I just wove them through as the way we're sewing with them, and I have maybe you know half inch on each side. And so I'm going to, I took the little hook out and there's straightened it out. And so I'm going to hold this and then see how it fits on her. And it's so, yeah, we don't want it over her forehead, but it's, oh, that's yes, really cute. and it fits great. And it feels like it's going to stay on her head a little better than, then you know, if we had not done strip. this. Yeah, so. What a, okay, I think I'm going to twist these. Is this easier said than done? Well, it's always easy. It's always delightful to do something fiddly on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Don't watch me. Okay. Trying to bend these in and just adjust it. And I didn't, I haven't sprayed this, I haven't pressed I think, it, I haven't done anything I to think it. I like it fluffy. So that it, it is fluffy. Let's see. Let's get this side on. Here's her little mob cap. Oh, that looks adorable. Isn't that cute? And He's, it holds it on. It, it does that. hold it on. And, and you adjust it to how you want it, how, to her head. Mm -hmm. And of course, if anything doesn't, if things keep sliding, just put a little bit of blue tape or a little scotch tape on it, just yeah, a tiny just, bit. Just to keep it. And it just, it, and it helps. Well, Denise, you have accomplished a lot. Look Thank at that you. table yeah, I full, feel like I have. Full of hats. And I love that I've made so many different kinds. And... Uh, it's not a secret between us, but I'm not a big hat person. Love them. Well, they don't know But don't that. like to make them. <laughs> well, do, do, you, do you like them so to make them a little I, better I do. now? I do, and I really am looking forward to enlarging these um, patterns that we've gotten and making bigger ones. Yeah, for your hair rays and whatnot. Yes, they can look completely different. If you've got small pieces of trim. And everybody does. And yeah. Yes, and, and you know, we, we need trim that we can get dozens of yards for you know, yes for the kits but if you have small pieces you know this you, is a great yes noodle. use yes. them old flowers whatever you like um, well but i love this denise thank you so much you're for, very welcome for um um teaching my little hat <laughs> uh, creations and you did a, a great job and i think i need to have yours are yours are way better than mine i don't so. think so <laughs> We'll, we'll fight it. We'll fight about okay. that. Okay. Well, listen, thank you so much. You're welcome. This All is right. a lot of fun. Bye bye, friends. Bye bye. Bye bye. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button.